I know videos haven't been coming the way I'd like them to. I'm editing a holster video now uh, on a repair job. I don't know what else I can say. I've just been busy. There isn't much I can say about it. I've got, uh, I just finished a 1916 Luger holster. This was sent to me along with another holster from another custom, from a customer. Um, this was just a strap. And like I'd say, I try to get the colors to match and I match the thread the best I can. Um, other than that, it's going to look like it's been replaced. I can't do much about that. Uh, I do my best to kind of make it look like it's at least been there for a while. So this just had, the strap had to be replaced. As soon as I got the strap replaced, I tucked it into the keeper and the keeper broke. Leather is just one of those things when it gets to a certain point, certain age, it just lets go. So I did replace the keeper on my dime because I broke it. I didn't have to use it, I did. I, it's one of those things I always tuck the strap in there like it's supposed to be. It broke, it's a risk I take. Oh well. Um, this does have on this hinge piece, now most Luger holsters have a piece back here that connects the body of the holster to the top of the holster. So it's a hinge piece and that's all it is. It's two stitch lines here, there's two stitch lines on top and that's what it does. So this is starting to come apart here. Um, I tried to put a little bit of contact cement in there to kind of just give it a little bit of stick. Uh, just because contact cement will rub off too and I did a, put a little bit of uh, Neats foot oil in there to kind of really soak into that leather well so I don't think the contact cement will hold real well but the Neats foot oil will soak in there well if you want to take you can see how that is going to keep cracking there the split is going to keep splitting um, if you want to stop a split dead in its tracks the only way to do that is to punch a hole and that will stop it. Um, no 100% guarantees of course, but that will stop the split from continuing. Um, and I don't want to do that on any of these holsters because we try to do as little as possible. And again, they're usually relegated to safe queens or display pieces at that point after we're done with them and we want them to look as good as they can. So that's what we try to do. But this one was just a strap. I replaced the keeper uh, since I broke it and some stitching on the top of the belt loops. It was a pretty simple repair. I didn't bother doing video on it because why? Uh, the nice thing about, neat thing about this is it's a 1916 holster and uh, that's kind of cool. It's one of the oldest ones I've worked on. Um, if not the oldest. I, I gotta think a little bit. I have to look through my records. I can't remember. It might be the oldest one I've worked on. Might have had a 15 in there somewhere. Don't remember? Don't quote me on that. But he sent me another holster, and this one is really kind of cool. This is also a Luger holster, but this is from the Finnish Army. So it's a little bit different. Um, this front strap has been replaced at some point, and it was riveted on. And these are uh, a rivet and burr. So it's a post rivet with a burr. Like, uh, I don't have one out. Something like what I use on my hunting, when I make a hunting bag, I'll use those rivets because they're really strong rivets and they'll hold just about anything. So I use them a lot when bags. <clears throat> um, but that's what they used on this strap. On the, And we know it's been replaced because there's stitch lines. There's stitch marks in here. The uh, belt loops, on the other hand, have been replaced. And I can tell that because it's not the same leather. It's far thicker than anything else on the holster, as is this strap. But this is still thinner than what these belt loops are. The belt loops are also riveted on with the same rivets. I wouldn't change these for anything. This is, again, part of the history of this holster. Um, so I wouldn't change them for anything. But when I look, if you pull that down a little, get some light in there, you can't see any stitch lines in there. I do believe these were originally riveted on. Anyway, the main reason this holster came in was the strap that you use to lift the gun out, the strap. 
uh, is not attached on the inside anymore. And that attaches right here with this stitch line, which I can do that. I've done several of them before where you can sneak it up in there where it belongs again, stitch it back in, you're done. Uh, it takes, where did I put that? I use the pliers like this. Um, again, I just some of this stuff you have to make your own tools. I picked this one up at Harbor Freight. It's a Pittsburgh. I went and I filed down all the sharp edges, so there are no sharp edges left on it. Everything's been rounded, so it doesn't damage the holsters. And that's just what you got to do. Sometimes you got to make your own tools. So that's what that one does. <laughs> But I don't know where else I would find another tool that would be able to do that, get down inside a holster. Because this one, well, when I did this one, I had to get down inside to here, down into this corner. And believe me, that's a tight little corner to get into to stitch. So I had to make a tool to do it. And that's, I've had that one for a little while. I had another one. This one gets used all the time. Um, but it won't go that deep. So, <laughs> but that one sits on my bench constantly. But anyway, this finish holster has got other stitching issues that need to be addressed. It's in pretty tough shape in some spots. Up here on the top, you can see stitch holes with no thread in them. But inside, you can see thread on the tool pouch there. If I go ahead, you can see this thread there, but there's none on the outside. That's because it's all broken. And if I probably just grab hold of it, it just it just comes apart. It disintegrates in my fingers. It's just old thread. Um, this thread is all. It's a, a linen. Linen is usually a cotton, so it's a natural fiber, and they tend to rot. These holsters get a lot of dirt in between. In between these these parts where everything is attached, they get dirt in there and that kind of thing, and it just it rubs and it rubs through the thread, and it's the thread just gets rotten. It's hard to take care of that kind of stuff, and it just comes apart. So that's what how well, that's how I get to work. <laughs> but as I was looking it over, there was that issue. Um, my customer didn't mention it uh, because you can see thread here. There's thread here. It's just there's nothing holding it on on the outside. So there was that one. Um, there's a little bit of stitching missing over here. I'll probably just replace this maybe inch. I'll probably replace about an inch and a quarter of stitching here. I'll go a couple holes beyond just to make sure it's good and solid. But this is that hinge piece. And on this holder holster, the top one has rivets in it. And these are, pro I'm looking at them, they look to be original rivets. From, I don't know a date on this holster, there is not one on it. That I can see. And who knows, once I open it up, it may reveal a date. There is an SA on the flap, so I'll have to look that up. Other than that, there is, I was kind of, there was a couple of stitches popped here. I was just going to replace this. Yeah, so I'm showing you and I can't, you can't see me. There was a couple stitches that were kind of loose over here, so I just kind of lifted a little bit. And it just started popping, pop, 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 pop. This, the thread in this holster, a lot of it is really um, just, it's it's rotten thread and there's nothing you can do about it uh, except replace it. This piece is obviously not stitched down anymore. The keeper is gone from it. So who knows where that went. In here was the biggest concern that I had. The stitching goes down it's this stitch line right here on the holster but it goes down this far almost the whole magazine pouch length 
is um, detached. So that's the one that I was most concerned about because that is quite literally just coming apart there. The only way, I mean I can stitch this up, stitch up this from, you know, a few go a half an inch past where it's popping up and go and it'll probably be fine. I can restitch all this down and it'll probably be fine. There you go, she, again, showing you stuff you can't see. I can replace the keeper and stitch this back down and it'll probably be fine. This, I can't restitch that without opening up the holster. There just isn't enough room, even with my long players, to get in there with a needle. And I use, so for comparison here, this is my normal needle. It's a John James needle. Uh, it's a 002, 004, I can't remember. It's a two and an eighth inches long. When I have repairs that are down inside, I made these needles out of those John James needles. Um, I just had to break them off. And these are inch and a sixteenth long. And that's the only way I can get down in there. Even with those needles, I can't make that repair. I've tried before. That's how I know that. <laughs> and the only way to really make that is to split the holster open. So to just pop the rest of this, which it's the thread is rotten anyway. And there's a couple other spots that are there's down here that are looking kind of iffy that are coming apart. But I can see here the stitching is out all the way down to here. There's a couple spots where you see a stitch or two in there. It's not holding anything, it's just the thread stayed in there. But it's out down to here. So I really need to replace all that stitching down here. The only way to do that is to split the holster open so you have the two pieces. Take the magazine pouch off because that is that stitch line is inside the magazine pouch. It stitches from inside the magazine pouch. The only way you're going to stitch it down is it holds the back side of the magazine pouch because the, it goes in between this layer and this inside layer here and it stitches in between there. So you have to open it up, stick it in there make sure it's in there good, stitch it up, stop your stitching here and let it hang. Come back, stitch the rest of your magazine pouch up because you had to take it off so you could get at the other one. Stitch the magazine pouch back on, then finish that stitching. I've done it a few times, it is nothing less than an entire pain in the tush. But it really, after you've done it a few times, it really doesn't take that long. It does allow, the biggest thing it lets you do is it lets you get a really good, thorough cleaning on the holster. And that, this holster needs. It could use a really good cleaning. Well, I shouldn't say needs, it's actually pretty clean. But with all that disassembly, taking this tool pouch, this is actually a two-piece tool pouch too. There are two compartments to this tool pouch. Getting all of this repair work done, is going to allow this holster to get cleaned really well um, and I think ultimately my customer is going to be really happy it is a long long job I'm going to say it's probably going to be a three hour job on the light side it may take a little more than that I'm going to say in three to four hours is about what this job is going to take just because of how long all these stitch lines take to do. So I'm going to try to take you along for the ride. It's going to take a while. I'm going to do a lot of time lapses in there. I will stop periodically and tell you what I'm doing. Other than that, I'm going to get after this thing and get some work done. Hopefully, I'll get it done in a couple of days here. Um, i got to find my wife a car. If Well, let's see how this goes.
Oh, look at that. She popped, stopped popping already. I knew it quit doing that when I got down to that buckle or that uh, strap. Very sharp, just snap this off. Be very, very careful. No, I don't take a job like this lightly. I really don't like doing this. Now here I want to make a note, note to myself that this inside stitch line has a uh, binding stitch over the top and that this stitch line runs into this stitch line comes into the magazine pouch so fortunately I do have to replace some of the stitching anyway so that'll work out just fine just fine some of that stuff out. So here we can see better all that stitching that's coming out and why you can only get at it with the magazine pouch removed. See that better maybe. You can only get at this with the magazine pouch off. You can get in there a little ways with the pliers, but you just can't see anything in there. And you can't maneuver or do anything. You have to remove the pouch. This is where those couple stitches were holding. So there we go. Two pieces, two pi bleh, two pieces of a Luger holster. The front and the back, and the magazine pouch. Like I said, slips between this piece and the back. It slips right between here and stitches in. Now I don't want to move anything because those stitch holes are lined up. So I don't want to move anything there any more than I have to. Where I was going to put in some stitches, I forgot I had these. These things are pretty cool. Just pull down here and it leaves you kind of a pin. It's a two-piece dealie that goes together and it'll hold your pieces of leather together. So what I'm going to use them for is where I was going to throw in some stitches. Darn it. And there it'll just kind of get it back there and inside there and We'll hold her together. I just dropped one piece on the on the floor. Ok, 
can't remember which channel I saw him on. I'll leave a link to him, an affiliate link down to him in the description below. I'm As I'm picking these threads out, I'm finding it really intriguing that um, there's been other repairs made on this holster and I can tell because the stitching was simply done in and out of the hole so it was gone like this um, and it was right around the toe of the holster here is where that was done and there was some done up here so it's really kind of cool when you start digging into some of these things and you can tell that that kind of repair work was done it was just in and out in and out in and out it's really kind of neat and uh, you never would have known it had you not gone to this extent on this holster and I'm only able to tell that because I'm picking these threads out and it's because it's different thread too it's a uh, much smaller gauge thread pretty neat love working on old holsters man tell you what back to picking much smaller in diameter than uh, the original thread. Oh, I dropped it. Than the original thread. Can it eat? broken thread right here that had broken and got restitched over was stuck between the seam. <laughs> Neat. And it's still there's still some stuck there. You have to separate it to find it. Well that's where I'm at. All my stitching is removed. I am gonna go take a break because I'm just kind of tired. <laughs> I was up for a 3.30 delivery this morning and they're working across the road making a lot of noise, busting up concrete and stuff, so I'm kind of tired. I didn't get my nap in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go in. I'll probably get after this again tomorrow. I don't have anything scheduled yet. So I'll probably be out here bright and early by that I mean probably 10 o'clock. <laughs> I gotta go look at a car tomorrow for my wife. But uh, this is where we're at. All the stitching is out. I will uh, begin the cleaning tomorrow. Give it a good cleaning. I don't want to get too carried away. We want to leave a lot of the patina that it has intact. I just want to kind of... Some of this is in kind of tough shape. I want to get all the dirt out of it though. Um, we can see dirt along the seam here where it was the magazine pouch was stitched on right here where the buckle was stitched on so we want to take care of all that we want to get the dirt out dirt is very abrasive even if you don't feel it it's very abrasive on threads so we want to make sure we get that out uh, I'll do what I can on the inside which usually amounts to uh, a soft brush just to kind of brush everything out of there um, which is usually like a, a shoe shine brush is what I usually use because it's a very soft bristle it's a horsehair brush brush and uh, I'll get in there and I'll just kind of brush it out rarely will I go in with a stiff bristled brush on any of this vintage holsters so that's where I'm leaving it for tonight Time for a nap, and I'll be back at it tomorrow.